Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another boss healing guide requested by you. This time it's the Ancient Protectors in Everbloom. The fight is quite straightforward, although we don't start quite well here because the rogue is dying as soon as we pull. Pretty impatient if you ask me. But usually you have lust for this fight and you should have every single cooldown and you should use them quite aggressively. So over here I started as healing tight totem quite away. And also using the Cloudburst is very important. You're gonna see in a second that the Cloudburst easily gets like a million healing stored inside. Shortly after the Healing Tide is done, I'm pressing my Ancestral Guidance straight away. And I'm gonna follow this up with another Cloudburst shortly after. Now as a Shaman, you're probably going to be assigning to kick the Revitalize. Make sure you either target or focus the mob so you don't miss these kicks and keep in mind that you can kick both of the revitalizers as your cooldown of the kick is quite short. You can even spare a kick for the other mob in the beginning, early when the fight starts, to reduce the amount of damage that your teammates are going to be taking because apart from the pulsing damage, the other mob is going to be casting bolts that you cannot interrupt all of them so you just have to heal through them. Now back to the fight. Nobody's kicking this mob apart from you, so only the revitalizers are getting interrupted and I'm popping my ascendant straight away to heal through the remaining damage and the water bolts. I also pop my defensive so I'm taking less damage and I can focus my heals on the rest of the team. And the whole point here is you want to survive the first part of the fight until you burst down one of the mobs. After that the fight is pretty much over so I'm pressing every single button that I can in the beginning. And I could have spread my cooldowns a little bit, I still have another Cloud Burst left, I still have my Spirit Link Totem left. But this is A plus 24 fortified, so we managed to burst the boss down quite quickly. The other tools that you have at your disposal, as you can see I'm pressing my Primordial Wave on cooldown, and I'm basically pressing my Nature Swiftness on cooldown as well, just to pump as much healing as I can. And keep in mind that every now and then if your tank doesn't have a defensive, they might need a healing surge or two when they're getting charged. The other important part is watch the charges and make sure you're not in melee because you don't want to drop the green puddles where the melee is hitting the boss. And once the first caster is dead you can just freely interrupt the second one. The damage here is significantly less but you still have to spot heal people who are getting hit by the water bolts. So the TLDR for this boss is press every cooldown and every button that you have for the first phase with the bloodlust and then enjoy the rest of the fight when you burst down the first caster. Hopefully this video is helpful to you, let me know if you want to see other bosses or other classes as well. As I'm mostly following your request for this series, apparently the bosses that I consider hard to heal are of no interest to you, while the bosses that I think are pretty straightforward are actually of more interest. Alright, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you in the next video, until then, bye bye, take care, and get out of here.